So Slovenia is welcoming us with a massive hill. <laughs> it's a massive, but it's just steep. I think this is the steepest hill we've done so far. It's fucking hot. <sighs> We just booked at the side of the road and now um, there's a thunderstorm coming at least. It's thundering the whole time so we're in a little hurry to get everything packed and then to get going. The thunderstorm stopped or yeah it passed by because <laughs> now it's there. So all the trucks are standing in line, or trucks and cars are standing in line for the border to Croatia. Luisa is just uh, asking one of the border control agents uh, if we're allowed to cross here. Okay, it looks like we're not making it to Croatia today. I asked the policeman if there was any possibility to go over the border with a bike. And he said he was thinking about it and thinking and said no it's a highway we found a really nice spot to camp and we just asked a farmer here uh, for a spot to camp and she just offered her garden <laughs> which is really awesome and it's so nice here We're just making breakfast and uh, we got a lot of milk from the farmer here um, and also are allowed to use um, their small downstairs kitchen and yeah we made porridge with the milk and milk coffee we're in Croatia yes um, border was really easy. We got to skip quite a few cars as well. But now it's just going up and up and up. So we were woken up today at like 4 a.m. by like this wild pig, a boar, sniffing around our tent and snorting and grunting. <laughs> I think it found us pretty interesting, or our tent at least. But then I think it heard us and uh, ran away into the bushes. <laughs> but yeah, since then we haven't really slept that well. <laughs> just reached the 
first 1000 kilometers. <sighs> Feels really awesome. Good morning! We're cycling through the Velibit Nature Park today uh, up to 1300 meters and from there we should see the coast for the first time. We're taking the route through this national park today and we already did like 800 meters of climbing on a paved road though <laughs> and now we have another like 100 to go but gravel and we have around 40 kilometers of gravel to do uh, and uh, we've done like five so far really carefully here, especially with those heavy bikes and everything. Yeah, you just slip away and fall. Look at that view. The view is awesome here and we're at this big like tunnel carved straight into the mountain. That's the first time in Four hours, Luisa has smiled, and only because we can finally see the sea. We've done it after over a thousand kilometers. <sighs> there is the sea. cycling down to the coast and it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter that's crazy really the the wind isn't even cooling a little bit yeah everything is just heated up there we are I hope you saw the 9% sign because it's going up 9% uh, and it's 37 degrees in the shade and we're obviously not in the shade 
and this whole landscape just looks like Mars. It's so surreal. We're on the island of Pug now, by the way, in case I didn't mention it. It's so crazy. We are heading to Zadar and it's just on this busy road the whole day. We've almost done 50 kilometers already and it's not even 11 and it's just so hot. It's 38 degrees. I've had four liters of water before 11. We're just uh, at a fruit stand at the side of the road and enjoying some plums and the shade. <laughs> and um, really nice, the uh, woman just gave us a honey melon as a present. Really nice and just offered us some water. reserves with us as I have epilepsy and uh, need a lot of those one in the morning and one in the evening and Toby has asthma also needs medication um, yeah and we used to store them in three of those bags um, but especially mine are a bit uh, sensitive to squeezing and um, also I thought they might be better protected in another bag, so we bought a new cooling bag and it looks like it's the perfect size. It's fitting perfectly in there. Today we left Zadar. We were there for two nights in a hostel and we met some friends of Luisa's and uh, celebrated her birthday yesterday. And um, uh, we are now on our way to Split, um, which we can take some time, like we can take some time to get there though. And um, yeah, so we're having an easy week on the coast, um, cycling along the coast. But we don't want to go exactly on the coastal road because it's super busy. So we're just inland a bit. And there's a lot less cars here. It's a beautiful landscape. As you can see. It's really nice. And it's so sad that there's trash everywhere. in the mornings in the tent as soon as the sun hits it it's just boom. yeah it's only i think uh, 6 45 or something usually i sleep long or longer 
but outside when it gets so warm you just wake up and it's really nice editing and um, I'm trying to get a couch surfing uh, couch surfer on Friday for split because we would like to stay there one night but uh, it's really hard to find someone I'm getting many 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 declines <laughs> So this is what our lunch breaks are looking like more and more this week because it's so chilled. Just sitting around, charging stuff by the beach. It was just so windy last night and in the night especially, like insanely windy. Uh, so we had to just take this spot as well because it's a bit more sheltered. Um, but now it's not raining or anything, but it's like super cloudy. And there's like pretty dark clouds like up ahead. So now that we've uh, packed up the tent and everything else dry, we're kind of just praying for rain because it's so so humid and so hot 26 degrees at five minutes to six in the morning and just like feels like 80 percent humidity or something storm is coming we uh found some shelter at this wood uh brick bus stop which is also pretty good better than some metal thing Well, oh, it is pouring now. We're so happy we're here. <laughs> oh my god. So, sun's out, and we're cycling behind the thunderstorm now. It's definitely better being behind it than in front of it. <laughs> We're just trying to find a camping spot for the night and we have this amazing view. the most amazing thing the first proper shower after like five days of wild camping it feels so good <laughs> yeah so we're still in the shower <laughs> yeah because we um let me turn the camera we have an apartment for the next few days and this was a birthday gift to me from toby's mom thank you again <laughs> and yeah we're really enjoying it already and um, also going to use the following days for editing a bit chilling so we've really 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 missed having a kitchen and our little apartment here 
has a little kitchen and it's so nice. You can just make a nice own coffee and pancakes. We haven't been outside all day because we've been editing. Even though the weather is really nice and well, it's actually too hot. It's actually too hot, that's true. We are just on our way back to the apartment. We spent the evening with Uta, who is uh, currently traveling also through Europe. And um, along a similar route that yeah, we are, and she's yeah. actually overtaken us now. Yeah. <laughs> starting today. <laughs> yeah. And it was just really nice. We, um, yeah, we texted on Instagram and. She just told us she would be on uh, brunch tonight and so we said yeah we could meet and we did and it was uh, just yeah just a really really nice evening. Yeah. So we're back on the ferry, um, heading from Supertar, where we were, on Brutch now, back to Split from where we came, and then taking another ferry all the way down here to Bella Luca on Portula. And the reason we we're not going directly is because unfortunately there isn't any ferry that can take bicycles. Well, there is one, but it's super expensive. But otherwise there are none that take bicycles all the way to Portula, so it's a bit of a detour, but... Then we'll get there in the afternoon. Here, there, so few cars. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So that's going to be our uh, camping spot for the night. Because there's like no one here. And uh, yeah, it's just a little dirt path on the coast and the island is completely empty anyway. And yeah, we just think we're not going to have any problems sleeping there. There are a lot of fig trees on Portula and I finally found some someone yes, some tree with ripe figs. Awesome. Mm. Tastes a bit bitter. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the one I had before was very sweet. <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. That is so nice. It's just the nicest town ever. So beautiful. That is so awesome. Just after every... This is Korchula, by the way. And after every corner, 
like in every new cove you think like wow 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 and it just doesn't stop and gets better and better so yesterday we uh, took the ferry to Villa Luca and then we cycled um, all the way along the north coast of Cortula uh, to the town of Cortula and then uh, just now we took the ferry to Olubic I don't know if that's how you pronounce it and now we're gonna cycle this is already part of the mainland again now we're gonna cycle pretty much to Dubrovnik which is here and then on to Montenegro that is the plan. So the thermometer, I don't know if you can see it, but it was showing 46 degrees. I mean, in the sun, but fuck me, it is hot. How do I fall? Ta-da! Awesome. So we just uh, cycled up this hill in search of a camping spot for tonight. We still haven't really found one, but the view is awesome wow so we found a spot this will actually be our last time wild camping in croatia because tomorrow will be our last full day in croatia most likely and we have a warm showers um, just at the border to montenegro but this is one hell of a way to finish wild camping in croatia right there such a view In 1,700 kilometers for Louisa, so that's okay. Yeah. So we were in Dubrovnik for I don't know 20 minutes and left straight again straight away again because it was so insanely busy and horrible and <laughs> we're on our way to our last warm shower and last night in general in Croatia I think that's where we want to go warm showers three kilometers Is it a warm shower? Hmm? Is it a warm shower? The first few seconds are actually really warm, and actually now it's really warm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. I wish you lots of luck. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it's fine what you're looking for. Yeah? We'll see. <laughs> Stay happy, man. Thank you. So we just left Marco's place and uh, on our way to the border to Montenegro now, which will, it's only a few kilometers away. And uh, yeah, maybe you could have noticed we're wearing different clothing while cycling, because usually we only wear the same merino clothes pretty much because it's easy to wear them many days in a row. 
uh, but now we're wearing something else because uh, we washed all our clothes last night or yesterday evening and then we hung them out to dry but of course it got it, uh, it rained in the night and everything got soaked <laughs> Alright, we're in Montenegro now officially through customs and over the border yeah. and yeah, we're really excited. We had a great time in Croatia for almost four weeks now uh, and Slovenia before that and now we're really looking forward to our adventures in Montenegro and Albania and everything else to come of course. Yeah.